New York Post columnist Douglas Murray. Douglas, good to see you. Durham, 300 pages. We got his report, but we're going to hear from him, or the committee's going to hear from him. What do you expect from this? It's going to be incredibly important. I mean, this is this is part of the center of the whirlwind this country is in at the moment, isn't it? I mean, the whole question of the FBI seems to be on the table. We have the indictments against former President Trump on the one hand, record low levels of trust in the FBI from Republican voters, and at the same time, Durham appearing uh, to testify about his report. You know, as I say, it's a sort of perfect storm for the FBI because we've just heard there from Adam Schiff this idea that anyone might ever politicize the right, FBI. That, that was like, like the richest thing I've heard today. Is it, it, it's just jaw-dropping, isn't it? To see Schiff talking about the right. politicization of the FBI or government agencies to go against your political opponents, that's precisely what the Durham report exposes. Is the agency being used as a political weapon against Donald Trump? And, you know, didn't it work well? Right. Because it meant that for the first, well, for the years of his presidency, he was forever being tripped up by these investigations. Mm -hmm. Remember, Representative Schiff himself was always promising us that he was about to give right. us a slam dunk that would prove that Donald Trump and the Kremlin yeah. had been in bed together. Yeah, but there all was this a, time. there was evidence right in the back room, and we're going to go yeah. get it in just a second, and it's going to convince yeah. and everybody. And in the meantime, you know, the dog's right. eaten my homework. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I want to go to this because I think it's related. We have this coming out of the House uh, Judiciary Committee. Oversight Chairman James Comer revealed his plans to bring in more witnesses for the alleged Biden family influence peddling probe. In addition to Hunter's former business partner, Devin Archer, who is complying with his Sabina. This is interesting to sit for a deposition with the Oversight Committee on the Biden family's alleged bribery. So you've got witnesses come in, you know, talking about evidence in the back room. We're going to bring it out. You've got some interesting witnesses that Comer has is going to be able to bring in, including Devin Archer. And that's a name that we've heard a lot of in the emails and some of the documents that have come out. What do you make of these witnesses starting to show up in front of James Comer's committee? I mean, if he gets this and you start to see some cracks in the wall, you get to see some evidence being put forward. Now, Comer has himself said that they are very limited or have been to date in what they've been able to access. You know, they haven't been able to access bank records and much more. So, of course, various Democrats and, and others around the Bidens say there's no evidence of this. Well, you know, if the wall cracks and witnesses are coming forward in larger numbers, then that's going to change. And once again, we get to this question of the politicization of justice mm -hmm. and the agencies in this country, but the other way around. You know, it's that old thing. If you're really willing to use any stick to beat your enemy, you might find that the stick you've picked up is a boomerang. And that is right. what the Democrats are facing at the moment. They're facing a situation where you know, they've put this on the table. They've put the use of justice to destroy people's lives on the political table. It's going to come back at them. So here's, But when you watch all of this unfold, what's so striking is... Like in the case of a President Trump, things can move very quickly if there's a possibility for an indictment. With President Biden, mm. it's so much foot dragging and slow walking. That's so you see what Comer's doing here. And on the one hand, you want to see evidence if there is, in fact, evidence. But on the other hand, you can't help but believe, I don't think the guys with the evidence are willing to turn it over. I mean, DOJ, FBI, etc. There's a lot of stumbling at the moment on this. I mean, there's the Burisma question that came up again last week because of the allegation that there are actually mm -hmm. tapes of the, the CEO of Burisma discussing the business dealings. If that sort of evidence starts to come forward, then yes, things could move quite fast. But I agree. It's very striking on this. It's this sort of slow pace of the revelations. You know, you can't help thinking that certain people hope that everyone involved is going to die of old age before any investigation really well, and, finishes. And, you know, and that's a funny way to put it. But, of course, voters and Americans are, are saying, well, I, we have to make some decisions <laughs> coming up. And we'd like some, to know what's actually happening. Some really important decisions coming up. And it would be good to know that we have some unanimity in this country and yeah. trust in institutions. Because... Currently, it is at an all-time low. Right. You can't survive as an electorate when you cannot trust your institutions. No, absolutely, you can. Douglas Murray, we got to leave it there. Thanks for being with us, sir. It's a great pleasure.